Now, this is your assignment, and it's very important that you complete this assignment and show us your work. And it will give you the confidence, you know, and the strength, and also a lot of joy and happiness that you have completed something in After Effects, and you can really create animations and later on visual effects. So, your assignment is, first of all, complete the animation here, okay? Make sure that it's beautiful, is the way you would like. This is mine. Create even better. That will be so nice, by the way. When you complete your assignment, I would just like to draw your attention that here, my animation will start at one second. That's because I give time to the viewer to adapt his eyes to the background and wait for the animation. Just one second is enough to give it, you know, sometimes, yeah, something is starting. Don't start it from zero, zero. Now, you might have started from the time zero. You need to shift all the keyframes to the right. To do that, you can select all the keyframes just like this and click on one of them and move them left or right the way you would like. Or simply click on position or the property itself. Don't click on the stopwatch. It will remove all your keyframes. I will undo. Click on the property itself. It will select all the keyframes. And here you are, you can click on one and move them all to the right to one second. After you have completed your animation, I would like you now to render the composition or render and create a video. After you create the video, please upload it to any social media and then copy and paste the link in the Q&A section of this course within this lecture. So I can see your work, other students will be happy to see your work and will give you some awesome feedback and we also will get to know that you are the future animator within After Effects. So now, how do you render a video? I'm going to show you here a simple method, nothing complicated. Later on in the course, you will learn the professional method using Adobe Media Encoder. So to create a video, you will go to composition. Inside the composition, there is add to render queue. Let's click on it. And the render queue tab, if you like, will open. You still have your composition and you still have the render queue. Here you have three settings that you need to take care of. The best setting. Actually, the best setting is about the quality. You can use a draft or wireframe. Of course, you want best. And then the resolution. You can use it quarter, third, half. But notice that you will not lose quality even if you go to half. It will scale very nicely. Actually, these are the two settings that you need to take care of here. And then you can click OK. Then you have lossless. Now, I'm working on Windows, and the default format is AVI. Unfortunately, AVI will give you a very large file. It has too much information. You can click if you are on Windows and choose QuickTime. If you are on the Mac, the default will be QuickTime, and that's OK. You just click OK, and you're on. Now, you need to choose where you want to output your video. So you click on the name. It will open the file finder for you. And for example, I'm going to put it in AE projects for me. Maybe you would like to put it on your desktop so you don't lose it. And I'll click save. After you've worked on these three settings, all you have to do is to press on render. And notice it's going to run very fast. I don't have a fast computer here. I'm using a, I would say, i7 normal memory. Here you are. It has created your video. Now, actually, you can start playing your video. Here you are, I'm playing it in VRC Media Player, that's the one I like. And I have the video over here. I like my work, and I hope you will like your work. If you don't, ask me all the questions that you want, it will be wonderful to help you out. So these are the three things, or the four things I would like you to do. Complete the animation, render a video, upload it to your social media, preferably YouTube, Copy and paste the link inside the Q&A section of this course and let us give you some feedback. And I would like you to be very proud of your work. Encourage yourselves, guys. This is very easy. If you need my help in any way, feel free to ask all the questions you want to ask and I will be very ready to help you. In fact, I would love to help you for you to become one of the best animators. Thank you very much. I will see you in the next video.